All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and it helps if I turn on the microphone. So, yeah, that happened. Uh, you might be wondering, th this was on my mind as I was waiting for the timer to count down. Uh, I was like, you might be wondering why I end the stream for lunch. Why don't I just keep it going, eat my lunch, come back, and anybody that's in chat, will still be there. Uh, actually, it's because I upload the videos to YouTube. Now, most people are not going to sit and watch a 45 to an hour or even two or three hour long video, let alone something that goes anywhere from five to eight hours. So I had just decided to, like, in the streams, at lunch, that way when I upload it to YouTube later, we're going to get like a little bit shorter video. You're going to get maybe two, three hours worth of gameplay and everything. And some people may be like, well, that seems a little bit long. Why aren't you cutting that up even more? Well, I really want you to think about like how long is a typical movie nowadays? Now, old, old movies, probably like 60s, 70s, were only about an hour maybe an hour and a half long and in today's world a movie can run anywhere from an hour and a half to four hours like most of the lord of the rings uncut is four hours long so if you're going to sit there and watch a movie why wouldn't you watch a full stream uh that's just kind of my thought anyway uh let's get back into it i've got this on the wrong screen because I was looking at something, and then we're just going to get right back into it. We're picking right back up where we left off, where we paused. We were looking at that thing, uh, getting anything and everything I could from it, but it really didn't seem to have all that much. Well, let's just say Nebula down there. So I feel like we're done with that. Uh, let's uh, Let's see here. So you got... An OD30 wreck over there, which I'm guessing Soul Crush is where we came from. I'm guessing you're the small vessel I see. I don't know if we checked that one out. I don't see any other large vessels. There is something that just says shipwreck there. I can't really tell, though, what size of a thing that that is. I'm guessing this OD-30 is a small vessel. And the shipwreck being off to my right, I have no idea. Because it looks like it's just a marker, so it may, it may be labeled as a shipwreck, but it may actually be a, uh, a base. Anyway, we're, we're going to keep on with this. We're going to look around for some more stuff. Uh, we discovered a wrecked cargo vessel. Oh, there. It's not actually showing me. Okay, so we got something that popped up over there. It looks like it's another small vessel. This is a small vessel. Uh, this looks like this may have very, very little left over from whatever it destroyed it. In fact, I don't see any salvageable parts. But we are starting to come across things that are much, much smaller than our ship. Our old ship things were roughly in the same kind of size category. Uh, you got something here. Multi-tool part. We didn't empty our inventory. That's not good. See something there, but I can't get to it. Nothing going on there. Where is our sound? Oh, there it is. I couldn't hear that. 
Apparently, I accidentally uh, turned off my mic or my headset. So I don't even know if anybody was hearing me talk. Hmm, this does have some thrusters on it. We may may grab those. Yeah, can I just put this? Yeah, actually I can. So let's do that. We're going to grab these thrusters. <clears throat> I said we're going to grab these thrusters, not destroy them. I did not mean to do that. The, the small vessel that I would like to bring in... It's not actually finished. I'd have to go finish it up and save the save the blueprint and everything. It actually uses small thrusters. So we could potentially just take those and throw them into the factory. There's another one here. I feel like there should be another one or two here somewhere. I want to get to the point where I'm actually, I've got all this stuff memorized, so I'm not relying on menus all the time. Uh, I don't know where any of this is at. Is this broken up into two parts? Yeah, I'd say it is broken up into two parts. Passenger compartment? Oh, wow, that is. I've never actually used those in a ship. Mostly because, you know, I don't have other people that I play with. I have thought about by certain people like being able to join them but you know that's not something I can just do so I wish I could the reality of it is you know we're ne we're probably never gonna join any kind of streaming group or any kind of YouTube group we're probably just gonna be on our own with everything we do for However long we do it, there's the rest of the shit out. We got here. Looks like a loading pad or something, or a docking pad or some kind of thing. That is really interesting design right there. Oh, there's a uh, there's a piece there. Or not a piece. There's a container. But well, doesn't have anything even remotely interesting. Oh, we got scrap metal. Yeah. I'm guessing you would access that. Yeah, you probably access that from there. It's in kind of an odd spot. I don't see somebody like doing that. That's a cool little detail piece there. This almost looks like... Oh, look at the spikes. This almost looks like it's a... Uh, um, What's it called? The... Oh... Uh, uh, the Wasteland series. There we go. Wasteland. It almost looks like it's a Wasteland build. Or, more correctly, it was a wasteland build. This is a pilot seat on it. So you'd pilot it from there? That's a weird spot to pilot something from. Alright, I don't see any more parts. We're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to do this and see what we miss. So I don't see any thrusters. There's a door. There's a couple more generators that we missed. 
I really shouldn't take much time on this because it's a small vessel, we don't really care about that too much. There's a small generator here somewhere. Where's the other one? And there's the oxygen tank. Alright. Feel like that's all for that. So let's drop all this. this. We're in this one already. That's pellets. Uh, I don't really know where to put the Xeno. Where did we get Xeno from? Oh, because we accidentally... No, that's not going to go there. Wait. We're not in our inventory. <laughs> I thought something was weird. I didn't catch it right away, but... In the back of my head, I was like, something's not right. So, we're going to go materials. All this is going to go in here. I really wish I could click this faster, but the game just won't respond quick enough. And yeah, that can go in there. The rest of this is just scrap, except for the thrusters. We'll put the rest of this over here. Yeah, I don't really care about those or that or those or those. And then usable parts we can put here. And the last thing, uh, large fridge, put away these plant fibers, which it, we should be done with. Just realized. And I didn't grab my core either. Eh. Genius. Okay, where's my core? Give me that. Right, we need to go. I think this is no deconstruction parts. Put that there. We should have our other plants that I was making earlier. Yeah, so tomatoes, mushrooms, and that. So first one's the spice. Shields are up. We can't put it. That's so dumb that you can't do that while the shields are up. The mushrooms. And tomatoes. I feel like that area there is just too hot. Yeah, I walk into it and the temperature just spikes. I wonder why. Is it... Just out of curiosity. No, it's got nothing to do with the light. Had absolutely nothing to do with the light. I don't know why that section's so hot. All right. Let's move on past this. Yeah. We out here. Turn the shields back on. We got a cargo wreck over there that I'm assuming is another small vessel. No, no, that's not a uh, 
that's probably a a uh, a base POY then. Because that doesn't have the right marker. Wrecked cargo vessel. And you look kind of big, so you're possibly a CV. No, that's definitely a CV. That's way too big to be, to be an SV. I don't see anything. Okay, so your core is intact. But I can't access anything. So the question is, where is your core? Of course, there's nothing in there. We can't go through that door. That looks like the whole area is destroyed. Let's get to collecting some. So we got that, we'll take this. This was some kind of quest POI, and now it's just a uh, scrap. Mining contract. You used to start mining contract missions. Oh, interesting. That's new. And the robotics park. No. Nope. Oh, go away. Gravity generator. Here's another container of some sort. Of some sort? It, it's a... I think it was a cargo container. Okay, we've already... Get me out of this. Got that there. Got a fridge here. It's got a bowl of cereal. We're gonna eat the cereal. No. Nope. Stop. Quit bringing me to that menu. Oh look, our favorite thing, hydroponics. Landing gear piece. I was facing that way. Interesting. I don't think this has got any thrusters on it. I think whatever thrust this had is destroyed. Well, like we got those class pieces. I'm guessing they went in those housings there. Yeah, I think that may be it. I don't really see anything else here that is even worth grabbing.
Let's take a look. Is there anything else here? Oh, it does have a single thruster. Let's have exactly one thruster. Do I have anything else for us to look at? It's got a whole bunch of lights. Uh, century guns? This has got century guns all over it? Holy smokes. Where are these? through there. Wow, that was definitely well hidden. I didn't even notice it. That's hardened still. So this, this was some kind of, this must have been some kind of combat vehicle. There's hardened still everywhere. I did not even notice that, that was hardened still. So where are the rest of these centuries at? Like it says there's a bunch of them. Like seriously, there's there's that many. Yeah, wow, those blend in so well. Why on earth? So not only was this some kind of attack vehicle, but it was also a trap. Because that's way too many for that to be just a simple little thing. So this, this thing is designed to kill you. Whatever it is. Yeah, let's not waste our uh, multi tool on that. Oh, we do need to. Got materials. Let's grab fight and go in there. So probably keep the gravity generator. So we'll keep this, keep that, definitely keep these, because why not? I don't really care about that. Uh, I don't know where, where do we stick the, okay, here. And then deconstruct and put these in here. Then we still got a few more things to put away. That can go in here, this can go in here. This 
I feel like this. I, I know there's a quest that has you making those, so I feel like that should go there, maybe. This can go here, and then we'll put into personal storage this thing. We got a few things to turn in. I just don't really know where you're supposed to do, with, where you're supposed to take those. Okay, let's go back and get our core, and move on from here. Uh, where did I put the core? Other end? Must be the other end. There we go. That's definitely an interesting little find. So, I think we already looked at that. Let's go see what this is. You know, I thought that was something off in the distance, but now that I'm looking, that's right there. I have no idea what that is. Pogo Space Wreck. That's a cobalt. Is that something we can fly to? Is that actually farther away than I'm thinking it is? And that's another Neo. That's fine, we can grab the Neo. Oops, wrong button. I definitely need to get some kind of light source on the front of this. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it. I hadn't done that since we did all the upgrades, so if we ever needed to repair this, uh, it would either whine at us or, in, or repair it incomplete, in, bleh, incorrectly. this here. This will give us a lot of cobalt. We really need, I still need to find Zacosium asteroids and potentially uh, uh, Estra, what the heck is it called? A restroom or a restroom a bridge room, however you say that. We, we definitely need to get some of that too. Ah, I can't move. <laughs> Oop, excuse me. Uh oh. Somebody has been alerted to our presence. They aren't happy.
You know, I, I keep thinking that this only goes so far, but it goes a lot further than I thought. Because we're still mining it out all the way back there. Okay, what are you, what are you guys like coming at me? It's just a whole bunch of little things. Shouldn't be anything to worry about. Claimable asteroid, wreckage. It's another little dinky thing there. There's the Neo asteroid. I don't know if we got all the cobalt, but I just want to move on. Do some more mining over here. Pogo space wreck. Is that not what we were just looking at? I know that. It keeps freaking me out because I'm like, is that moving with us or not? Because it definitely feels like that, that is moving. It doesn't feel like it's part of like the background. You see how... See how like that looks like a background and everything? That looks like it's in the foreground. And considering that I've never seen anything in the background moving, I can't tell if that's actually part of the system or if it's something else. Going back around. I don't think we have anything big coming at us, so. I mean, that doesn't mean that nothing's not going to come into the system. Because I have been chased before by something that entered the system. Yeah, see, there you go. We just we just got a notification that something was out of range. Which is not something I see that often. I think that explosion was another. As long as they keep coming up to where the turrets can reach them, we'll be fine. We've got enough defensive countermeasures that we should be good.
Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll find. I can't move. I really need to find some Zacosium, though. Now, I'd be even happier if I could... get more of the drill, more of the uh, laser drills onto this. That would be amazing. I also need to figure out what's causing all the heat in that one section of the ship. That's not, that's not a good thing. Especially if it's killing the plant. Like the first time, like accidentally forgetting to turn on the oxygen is one thing. But if I've done something to where there's too much heat there and it's killing the plants, that's not good. I'm not even really sure where I'd move stuff at that point. The only real option I would have there is to move it to the front the forward section of the ship, the section that's most likely to, well, not necessarily take damage, but it is the forefront of it, and it wouldn't be that inconceivable for that whole section to take a lot of damage. I think I've drilled a hole right through this now. Yeah, see, it's still going straight through this. This definitely means that we are going to be not as worried about our... I thought those were destroyed. It's an orbital outpost I'm not too worried about. I feel like we've gotten quite a bit from this. We're still going to need more, don't get me wrong, but... I feel like we could sit here forever and we're not going to... We're not really going to make any headway, it's just going to be this continuously. Just mining for forever. Again, that'll it'll go faster once we get the other drills on. A lot of this will go a lot faster once we get the the rest of the ship together. And I'm still very, very, very tempted to go ahead and bring in the little the little uh, uh, repair station that I've got. Not really to actually repair, but to smelt, because it does have a, uh, a furnace on it. And that would be absolutely amazing to use that furnace. I wouldn't have to go all the way back to base for the furnace there, but I do need to go back to base because uh, like I said in the first half, we forgot to get our armors out of the UNF crab when we switched. When we switched ships, we forgot to take some stuff with us. I realized that a little bit later into the last stream. But I was like, oh, I didn't grab everything out of the other ship. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm having better luck, like, going through and finding shipwrecks and anything. So, I'm starting to think that maybe we should just go and uh, do some more scavenging. 
though now I know I need to look specifically for the one shape that way I know that we're getting parts for a uh, capital vessel though we do need to check out bases occasionally too because those have some good parts for us too not always but a good chunk of the time they do Well, that's going to be so much stone towards our, our uh, landing port. I really wonder how much further that's going to get us on that. Because this ship is way bigger than the old one, so we need to, like, expand that out quite a bit. Quite a bit. Again, because I am single player. I'm not too concerned with uh, not finishing that off, but I feel like that's going to get boring very quickly for anybody watching. So we got a refinery there. I feel like everything we've already checked, except for... Well, that, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, so that's a capital vessel of some sort. Let's go see what this has. We're still doing good on oxygen. We're really good on fuel. We got uh, a ridiculously big fuel reserve on this, so having more than half is, means it's going to last a while. We got hours worth of fuel. See, that thing is still freaking me out. Like, what is that? I actually want to go near it, and I don't want to go near it. Planet Raider Wreckage. Interesting. Contaxid tank there. There's something over there. There's another heat signature there. All right, what is this? What do you got for me? You got anything good? I see uh, Come on, brain. See, so you got a small constructor there. Well, that ammunition controller had the worst amount of ammo I've ever seen. Some ice. Nine millimeter rounds. Platinum more. Nothing in the locker. This kind of looks like one of Spanish ships. Like the Corvus or something. I'm not sure what CC is. Oh, we're still upside down. It's actually this way. 
Uh, is that the core over there? No. Just damage section. I think I already, yeah, I already checked that. It's got a core? No, it doesn't have a core. Okay. It really does remind me of something Spange made. Like one of his little miners or something. Give me that. Me that. Yeah, like a drill base or something there. Yeah, another one there. Some kind of connection point here. Just goes inside. Okay. I do want to take the seat because you never know if you if you come across something you're thinking about like keeping and trying to uh, to fix up you might need a uh, command chair or whatever it's called hello that was really weird <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't let me pick that up. It's an interesting color choice on that. You might also need landing gear. I should probably keep landing gear thinking about because I haven't seen any landing gear on this. Already in materials, okay. Um, I think the ice can go in there. I think you just straight up turn ice into stuff. So, personal ammo, we'll put that there. Go to the fridge, put away these waters. Harvester. I don't really know what you do with the platinum. I haven't seen platinum used at all in anything yet. Uh, da, da, da. Deconstruction parts, we can put that, put that, put this. We will keep one more of those. I need to keep the control. That can go away, this can go away, that can go away, this can go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. And what was I saying, landing gear? Yeah, we should probably keep the landing gear. Uh, we really need to get the... The deconstructor in there, because we're starting to fill up on parts. Luckily, we're not playing with weights, so... But, we do need to, like, test out the weights on this. I'm not sure if we got enough storage for what this vehicle is meant to do. No. 
one more thing. Um, I'm not sure. Should we keep that? Yeah, we'll keep those. Just in case. That's a just in case part. Same with you. This we should really move to here. And that's for the that's the base version. Those I'm keeping for a very specific reason. We can't you can't get rid of those. You can't deconstruct them, so we might as well just keep them. And then you got that. Uh we need to get our I see a box there. Have I looted this one? Nope. Okay, we need to get our core. Get back on the ship and get out of here. Oops. We're just going to use these up. Okay, that's the one that's still going. We're not going to worry about that. This one's done. We can turn this one off. This one's off, we're not worried about that. So that's fine for now. That's not in use, we can turn it off. Gravity generators in use, lights, hangar, shutter door. Harvester 2. Oh, yeah, because the... Okay, yeah. That counts as up. Alright, let's go. So that's another... Another, uh, uh, the, the CV that we can loot, see what this is. And whatever that is, is moving. As long as it's nothing deadly, we should be good. We're going to be very, very, very close to it, though. I really wish I had my long-range radar. <laughs> I really wish we had the radar already. Okay, so that's a wrecked frigate. That's a sonnet. <laughs> That's a sonnet. Looks like there's a couple of things here.
frigate. We got toxic waste and a pentacore lab of some sort. Okay, that's moving away. I, I think we're good. I would hate to, like, have something get destroyed right now. I, I haven't had a complete loss of ship in a while. I haven't even had a complete loss of ship yet in this uh, playthrough. I had a partial loss in a previous playthrough, but it ended up not being as big of a deal. Oh, I don't want to spend too long in here. I know that the sentence right over there. Um, thrusters, it's got a small thruster, don't care. Hang on. Core, you got my core. Hangar, maintenance. An armor locker, whoop to do. Okay. Turrets has got two turrets. Both of them easy to find. I don't think I have to worry about that summit, but... But, it is a summit. <laughs> if, if it gets anywhere near me, I'm, um, I'm in trouble. Not huge trouble, but we are in trouble if we have to tangle with that at all. Um, destroyed station, that looks like it's potentially a uh, ammo thing there. Looks like it's potentially a Xerax thing. So let's... Let's go back. We do have a quicker way of getting in here. This is not the way it's meant to be. That's actually a drone hatch. Okay, so it's seven. It is coming back this way, but it's just going between those two points. So we should be... We should be good. Oh my gosh. We should be good for me to explore. This looks like it's a Xerax thing. I'm almost positive because it's like, it's got the red. Won't let me access it. So the center and that is going closer and closer together. Uh, are you active? I don't think it is. I would like to know where your core is. Your core is there.
Okay, cool. What you got for me? Got a lot of cargo. I am doing it this way this time. I know earlier I said I wouldn't, but I'm a little bit worried about that sonnet. But this is this is so slow. Okay, that's empty. We've already checked that one. Basic system survey probe. A survey probe containing basic scan equipment. Okay, so this is for the, the research thing that we haven't done yet. We haven't even touched that. Nothing there. We got a fridge. Next to the fridge, it's just got two pieces of meat in it, the fuel tank lights, sentry guns, I saw one of them and that's it. I don't I don't care about anything else here. Ship, ship, where's the ship? Materials. Usable parts, we'll drop that there, this here. Um, the only place I have a cache thing is down below. The ATM's in my personal quarters. I could have put it there. But for whatever reason, I decided to put it over here. So we did get a good chunk of cash out of this. So why can I walk up those easily, but this one over here, and this one, I can walk up that one, this, for whatever reason, it doesn't like me trying to walk up it. So we do need to go to the corporate thing. Sonnet's over there, that's fine. So we need to go to these two. I'm not too interested in the toxic waste. Where are you shooting at? It shoot at it shot at something within the toxic waste. No idea what it shot at. I still think we're good with you. So that is a gravity generator there. Okay, you do have a core.
Oh look, more, more containers. I know those have things in them, but I'm not too interested in that. I'm interested in any big containers. And that's just got water in it. Okay. Interesting looking build, that's for sure. Let me out. Let me out. So, there's nothing else in here? Is there any... I don't see any pieces on the outside that I'd even be slightly interested in. So the only thing this has on it is a gravity generator, maybe a few items and what few storage containers there are. Okay. Let's check out this. Oh, this is a, uh, yeah, I know what this is. This is why I have all that Xeno. Because this is Xeno, yeah. That's where I got all that Xeno from. I had harvested a, uh, a, a POI that was, it was exactly the same as this. I don't remember where the core was on it though. Yeah, there. Uh, yeah, not gonna worry about that. That Sona is bugging me. I, I feel like we're done here. We could go planet side, but I don't have any, I don't have an attacker or anything to take on any POIs. So we're just gonna move on out to the next, to the next uh, planet, which is this one. I feel like we've, we've gone through everything that could be here. I do want to take a look at that mining thing though. With all the asteroids. We will look at that before we leave the system. I want to make my way back to our to our home base though. Okay, I don't see anything except for this over here. Before we leave here too, we need to go turn those because we got a base right there. A, uh, a trade station that we can get rid of those stupid cargo things and make a little bit of uh, money. So that's a magnesium asteroid. We do. We prob. I did. I did leave a note. Uh, to two stream. Two Imperium streams ago, that I need to get more magnesium. I have no idea what it was for, but. I do remember leaving that note. In fact, let's just wrong ship. That's in the the UNF crab.
Okay, I think we got all that. Calling us billboard, okay. Where? So that's a derelict ship. And that's a derelict ship. Where's this uh, magnesium? Where is it? <laughs> Seriously, where is that magnesium at? It's another pentaxid. Up, oh, I, I see it. I see it. I see it. I don't remember what I needed this for. I think it had something to do with like ammo or something. What do the Xerox want with me this time? I think magnesium is one of the few things you don't turn into ingots. Like, how far through, will this go all the way through the, uh, the asteroid? Because it's dug a pretty far hole through there. Now we got... We got Xerox chips all around us. Luckily, it's just little bitty things. Nothing I'm actually worried about. Though we are probably burning through uh, ammo. Which, let's take a quick look. How much ammo is the ship at? I mean, it's not bad. That's, that's more than enough to keep protecting us. So I'm not going to worry about it. As long as we got like 4,000, we're good. We have like 7,000, so we're good for a little while. I'll worry about it when we get below 4,000. Like when we got less than a full stack. And hopefully I'll remember that. I don't have a, uh, a cheaty place to write notes this time. That's something I didn't think about. Uh, we could probably... We could probably just add a to-do list in our bedroom on this ship. Hit the interceptor that's shooting at me, please. One thing I feel like we need to do with this thing is we need to get some, we need to figure out how to get some turrets on the bottom. Like get them lower to protect us. Well, that'll have to wait till we get a little bit further with our CPU on this. Once we get, once we get core five, we can start looking at some more defense. I am legit worried about not having any kind of defensive or offensive capabilities on the bottom of the ship. 
I mean, the the best the best I could think about is like somewhere you can't even really see the landing gear because I don't have any lights down there, but right right about where the thrusters are. So the 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 small thrusters they're actually mediums that are the furthest back towards the back of the ship. Right about in there somewhere, I think would be good to have a couple of uh, uh, turrets on the bottom of the ship for uh, offensive defense so we can take out any kind of threats that are below us or we could just put some uh, the the um, the sentries we could put some sentries down there possibly but right now we don't have a, the CPU to actually do that. Which I understand CPU is more of a. It's not as important as I make it out to be, but it is important. We don't want to overburden the system. I've had too many problems with uh, ships blowing up parts because I've overloaded the CPU. E even just slight overloads have caused uh, catastrophic failures. So I don't mess with that too much. I know there's people out there that play without the CPU, but I kind of like having the CPU. The weights is a different story. I don't like the weights simply because your storage, you've already got only so much. You've only got so many spots in your inventory. So the, the idea of taking that and then applying this volume and weight to it is kind of ridiculous to me. And as you can see, um, if I got rid of some of this, we're not even really carrying that much. We're carrying quite a bit of rounds for our assault rifle, yes. Uh, a few rounds for our sniper and a few rounds for our shotgun but in any kind of FPS situation you do need a lot of rounds so the the actual volume of how much the characters can carry in this to me is a little bit ridiculous that's almost too much you guys they've included in the game all right um yeah we're gonna go with this this is a derelict ship this is another capital vessel so I want to see what this is and then there's another one somewhere that I also want to see what that is see what we can find some more CPU parts would be amazing or or loot towards CPU parts would be amazing either or Another amazing thing to find would be like an actual radar. I don't think Vermilion has included actual radars in any uh, any wreckages in the game. I wonder if that's one of them over there. I can't really tell. Yeah, where is this thing? We should be right on top of it. So this is another trade ship. I doubt that's going to have anything for us in it. There's the Polaris Cruiser. Oh, it's another one of these little guys. I like the one that we came across the earlier. Kind of like this one, too. I mean, it's the same ship. I don't, what, what am I saying?
Uh, the, this, no. So we can just go ahead and put that there. Fuel for me. And once again, you've got one thruster right there. I don't remember where the other one was at. I feel like it was on the side, hidden behind something. Or on the top, I don't really remember which one it was. Bandages, okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Got all those. I don't think there's anything else here. Is this the thing that... No, this isn't that thing. I do recall that this had another... Ruster somewhere. Yeah, here. I don't think that's got anything else. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. For a second there, I thought that was one of those pieces that increase, or they give you bonuses for your CPU. I thought for a second that's what that is. Apparently not. Uh, materials. Harvester, let me go there. Deconstruction. Uh, still we'll keep. Put it unusable. And then personal storage, you can go in there. I don't know how that got there. Personal ammo and then medical storage. We'll put those there. And that should be fine. How is every how how is our stuff? So fuel, not really surprised there because the fuel tanks are absolutely ridiculously big. But we can go ahead and do that and that as you can see <laughs> that didn't even fill it up we're just barely over half there so I'm, I'm not worried about our fuel at the moment our we've got such a ridiculously big fuel tank at the moment Pentax said that that's fine we'll leave that like it is all right Move on. There was another ship. There was another ship that I wanted to look at. That's...
There it is. I think. There's a pol Polarius. There's a vessel there. Not too worried about it. I don't know what that is. No idea. We're just going to head towards this. This is another... This is another capital vessel wreckage. Maybe this has got something else for us. Maybe. Okay, looking at the time, uh, this is going to have to be the last thing we do, and then we'll have to head back. Not where I want to leave off, so we will find another system. We're, we're going to have to go back, because I wanted to go back and grab my armor. I left all the armor in the UNF crab, which is not good. If we ever needed it, we, we don't have access to it right now. And... We'll come back out this way, and that will be where we leave off. So this is a frigate. And this is, I think this is the same wreckage we saw earlier. Maybe? I'm not really sure which way this thing is supposed to be turned. One of these at some point we're gonna we're gonna take home and one day we'll do a, uh, a sit down and just build episode. Okay, so we can just go ahead and place that there. Take the generator. Let's see here. Thruster, we got a small thruster there. We got the core, there's nothing in there. An the ammo box. Oh yeah, all the all the different ammo is supposed to go in here. I forgot. <laughs> oh well. Not a big deal. So let's go back. We got cargo box. Oops. Ah, not what I meant to do. What we got here, we got this can all go in the materials. We got a bunch of consoles. We got my salvage core, shutter door, maintenance. What is this? Armor locker, don't care. There's a couple of turrets. Yeah, so this is the same thing we saw earlier. This should be on the outside of it somewhere. Up here. And then that should be it on this. Poop. I was hoping for, like, a little bit more on this thing. Yeah, that's fine. It can go there. Excuse me. Alright, so let's go back home.
again, we're, we're going back because I left all my armor in the other ship. I do, I think before we actually finish, if we can do it, I want to go look at that, uh, that mining sector and see what that's all about. Oh, right, that's... Oh, it really sucks because if this drops me off right by the uh, the sunnet. There is a sunnet circling that planet, so. Ooh. Wow, that just came out of nowhere. And I know my, for whatever reason, my mic's um, controller is not turning the mic off anymore. Okay, I don't know where the sunnet is. We should be fine, though. It looks like it's off and to our left somewhere, but... There it is. I don't know why it didn't come up. Oh, because it's so far away. Okay. I may be able to take that thing out. The only ship that I have that I know will take it out is my UNF Viper. But the Viper was made in RE1, not RE2. So I'm not sure if it's going to survive a fight in RE2. Not to mention the, the problem is that that ship is designed to dock with the modular system and I never completed the modular system. In fact, I gave up on it because I didn't really care for how it worked. It ended up being a giant pain in the butt. Uh, we do also need to go back to that system because we need to drop off all these cargo containers. But I wanted to go back there anyway because I wanted to check out that mining... Uh, zone because there's one mining zone there that we should be able to get into there's exactly one mining section we should be able to get into the others we need the we need a, a small vessel to go in Okay, where? So that's the water. That is, there's the escape rocket. So the UNF crab, uh, the last I parked it, it was over there. We could potentially drop off a whole bunch of things and get it, get it smelting. In fact, I want to do that real quick because I want to go and check and see if we can make the other CPU piece that I need. We might have the resources to do it. Might. Well, I'm not entirely sure if we do or do not. That way we could drop off all that stone and start creating a whole bunch of uh, concrete.
Well, I don't remember this being that far away. It should be right over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Me down. The heck? Hi, crab. How you doing? You still look like you got a lot of damage back there. We'll get you fixed up eventually. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with you, but we'll get you fixed up eventually. Let me through here because I didn't grab this stuff out. I don't think I left anything else. I think I got everything out of you. Yeah. I don't think you got anything else left in you. But yeah, the crab took some major damage from a sunnet. Um, this thing is like pretty weak. It, it, it's just another starter vessel. It's meant to be cheap and everything and just get you started. So yeah it took some it took some major hits i don't have a way of repairing all that just yet uh, the interior of it is just fine the interior there's nothing wrong with the interior of this thing it was only these blocks here along here that got destroyed and i don't have a way of repairing that just yet unless i bring in the the little uh repair space station that i made and it's a little dinky thing and it's not going to do me any good. The The only thing that thing's going to do is allow me to repair that thing. That's it. It does have, I know I've talked about it a few times, but it does have a, uh, a furnace inside of it. So we can just go ahead and repair everything. But, or, a furnace to repair. Yeah, that made sense. Um, so we, we could use the furnace to make a whole bunch of things okay here's this we got an oxygen tank here uh personal storage nope I completely lost my train of thought there. Yeah, I forgot what I needed a jetpack for. I needed a jetpack for a couple of different things. This is missing... Probably a jetpack in there. I don't need the jetpack in space. The main thing I need in space is radiation and insulation. Uh, the oxygen... I would like to have more oxygen in my suit, but... The, the problem has been that, you know, we don't exactly have that many slots, and one insulation booster is not enough. It just simply is not enough. So let's go back to the our main base. Oh my gosh, why? And why do I get burning hot in some places on this ship? If the only thing I can figure out is it's got something to do with the thrusters. But the thrusters aren't 
pointed in or anything. They they may be there, but they're also separated by at least one block. So unless I need to put metal to reduce the heat, I have no idea. I will say that I do love this ship. This of the ships that I have built that are usable. Let me let me reiterate that that are usable. This is my my favorite one that I've made so far. I know I got a lot of flack for all the the shiny blue, but you know whatever. I was copying the the. That whole thing was actually based on what a streamer was doing who was brand new to the game. He had played Inge uh, Space Engineers before, but had never touched Empyrean. So I was just like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. I've got another message here. Hang on. Oh, that's the at everybody that was announced a while ago. Yeah, because he started streaming. Somebody knew that I started following. They do a lot of uh, uh, Fallout 4 streams, which I'm not going to do anything Fallout 4 or Skyrim. Uh, I'm only saying that because they're both Bethesda. I'm not going to be streaming those games. Those are those I would prefer to leave to myself. Like everything else, I don't mind showing those. I'm just going to, that's going to be my little, I don't feel like streaming. I want to just not worry about it and just game. Those are going to be my games that I play for myself everything else i am playing for myself but is also playing to stream it especially considering the uh the content because these are all more survival based and those two are not really survival all right here comes the parking fun i need to make that bigger I think we're good and in fact in the in the creative world one i also have the little docking spot way bigger so let's shut that off so we're not using a heck of a lot of cpu that uh, cpu fuel so we're not using a lot of fuel and then Uh, let's go here. Actually, Promethean doesn't need to go in there. Ice chunks don't need to go in there. Crushed stone does not need to go in there. Copper does. Titanium does. That does. Graphite does not. Magnesium? No. No. Cobalt, yes. Silicon. Yes. Uh, Restroom, yes. Gold, yes. And that, yes. And then we need to go to here. Not there. Here. Ingots. This goes in. That goes in. That goes in. This goes in. Yes, yes. And yes. I don't have the deconstruction stuff. I don't have a deconstructor in the base yet. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this.
and then we go to ingots because this isn't just ingots. The old things will leave in here. All of this. Send over. Radiation shielding. Okay. That sounds like that's fine. That's biofuel. Technically, that shouldn't go there. I do realize I've been stuck in biofuel there. Uh, what did I do with the ice chunks? Those shouldn't be in there. Oh well. That shouldn't be here. I don't know how those got here. These two I don't know what to do with. That needs to go there. And I think that's just about everything that I honestly care about. Ammo I'm not too worried about. Although we do have we got the wrong ammo and the wrong thing. Extra weapons, deconstructor, we already moved all that, materials we already moved, that should be fine. What was I just looking at? Why is there Neo there? That needs to be over there. Oh, it's because the way I've got this set up, so... The... Um, what is it? The, um... The scrap. The scrap will be made into the raw resource, which then goes in the wrong place. Uh, we got quite a bit of gold. I wonder if we could... We might be able to make it. Uh, or not, because I don't think I've upgraded this. Yeah, we got the visual bug here as well. Yeah, we need the advance. Which I think I stuck an advance one upstairs. I don't know if I removed it. I don't think I removed it. Nope, it's here. Can I make that? No. I really can't. What am I missing on the large? Uh, it's probably the cosium that I'm missing. If I had to guess, it's probably the the cosium. I was only able to make one. Okay. That sucks. And I need eight of them. And it was the Cosium, right? Yeah, it's the Cosium alloy. I don't have enough Cosium. That honestly doesn't surprise me. Yeah, we don't have enough there. We'll just leave that going like that for a little while. I don't think I turned that off either. How are we doing? 
because this space doesn't have a whole lot of okay we're good it doesn't it's got that's our oxygen that's our fuel <laughs> that's it <laughs> this base doesn't have a lot of storage for like fuel and oxygen did i turn this off no i didn't In all actuality, I think the one in creative is actually much better than this one. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We don't have all these in place. And I was thinking we could. Uh, in my creative world, I put the... I put the wiring harnesses here, and it looks really cool because they fit in there perfectly. These things have to be turned a certain way. But I was also, I was thinking about it. Uh, originally what I was doing is I was putting the, uh, the turbines there. And that filled up the space nicely. The problem is you can only put four of those. And I was like looking around to see what other items come in a form of like three, like it takes up three slots. There's not anything that I thought looked good in those places. There, There's some options, just nothing that I was like, yeah, that works. It was more like, eh, maybe I could see that, but it's not exactly my favorite. And stuff like that. I'm still not really sure what to do about this corner right here, because that block annoys the heck out of me that it's there. Yeah, as you can see, we're, we're, we're working on a very big landing pad here, so we've got a long ways to go with the landing pad. In fact, this ship still goes off of it onto that mountain. We may have to end up mining that out a little bit. In creative, I have this entire corner filled out to as far as it'll go. Uh, reason Within reason, there's some things that I had to do to change it a little bit and one of the things I was thinking about we could start because I don't actually need every single block here It could start to hollow this out and leave supports where I have them. Possibly. What this would do is allow me to use less blocks effectively. This is going to take forever with this tool. And we only got like 47 out of that. We're also going to have to worry about this tool like breaking on us and using up our, our ammo for it. Yep, there it goes. It needs to be repaired. 
can I reach can I reach home base home base is not what I want personal storage I really need to get the next tool upgrade. No, this one. Which I think I have. Yeah, I've got the multi tool level two. And that needs the universal or the advanced crafter to make it. I have no idea what is involved in making it. I don't know if we've got the stuff for that. See, that gave us back 65 blocks clearing that out so if you, if you really imagine like if we went through and cleared out all of that and then got what we really needed oh gosh this goes down quite a ways over here I'm not sure how far we can go before we hit the problem of needing support. The other thing is us, I don't know when we're gonna hit the limits of how far we can go. Which I think in creative, I ended up having to go, well, well, we're out of blocks there. I think in creative, I ended up going, cutting off like two or three rows there because of how I was doing the supports. That's going to be like more than enough for now, but I'm also not sure how it's going to support all that either. Uh, well, I'm thinking about it. I want to go ahead and do that. Nope, that's not the right one. Yeah, because all of this is deal in this one. That's right, because I was doing that that way here. Now, daggummit. I wish they would line up the same block. metal there so whatever I 
Ooh, we are almost out of oxygen. Somebody put a, uh, a um, set of stairs there. I haven't fixed that problem yet. So it's still doing Neodium at the moment. It's still doing Neo. That's fine. We'll get as far as we can with that. I would love to get the deconstructor in here somehow. I don't think I can put the... I don't think I have one, do I? I do. Why don't I have it installed? Interesting. But if I put this in, I can go ahead and get the deconstructor put in and work towards uh, that. Yeah, there we go. So we got some space on the CPU now. So if I... Do I have a... don't think I do. Let's just see. And hopefully that'll get us some some zacosium and things to get the other four that we need for the for the CV. I'm not entirely sure though. And the problem is that this is going to take a minute too because it's going to go through every single one of these like one at a time. But it is lovely we got this in here now. So we got this in here. Hopefully we can get the parts we need. I don't think we've gotten anything that would give us what we need though. Like maybe the warp core. Oh no, we'd have to break down certain things. Like I don't know about the ion thrusters. Uh, the, the jet thrusters that is.
It's kind of weird that that doesn't even, like, sense. I know this is going to take some time, but I just, I'm really curious if any of this is going to give us the Coxium. That's going way quick. They're just blowing through that stuff. Yeah, I don't think anything here would give us a codesium. I do wonder about these, um, the jet thrusters. Let's take a quick look, see what those give us. So there's no Zacosium there. There is Zacosium in this. So the large jet thrusters don't have any Zacosium, but the the others do. And these do not. I was kind of hoping that the plasma ones would. I'm kind of surprised that they don't as well. Like, this is so weird. So the medium gives me Zacosium. The large does not. The improved does. The advanced does. I don't know about the smalls. Where is this? I hate how they did the tooltips. It's so, it makes it so difficult to see what you're doing. Okay, so the small ones do not. The small ones do not. The medium plasma thrusters do. I don't think we've found any of those. I think we've only found like the regular ion ones. We did find some plasma thrusters, uh, though but in both of these instances, I'm really surprised that neither one of these take or use the cosium in them. That's really weird that they did that. Uh, what else does? I think the, no, actually the core, the, I don't think the, no, that doesn't. No, the warp drive does not. I'm pretty sure uh, the other day, I'm not sure if it was Digit, but somebody the other day was telling me that thrusters do, and clearly they do not. The shield generator does not. Neither do the fuel tanks, or the oxygen tanks. That's interesting.
I could have sworn they told me that it does. And I'm pretty sure we even use some of them for that. Throw them into the... Into the factory to pull in our ship. And then I'm sitting here, I'm looking at it, and it's not even listed as a component. That's... that's interesting. Here's a Zincosium right here. I think maybe the weapons do. That's gonna take a long. That's gonna take a while to get through that entire list of stuff. Probably longer than we have to stay here today. Because I do, I do need to get off. But I did say that we were going to go back and look at the the mining zone before I leave. Uh, I need to reconfigure this at some point. I had a much bigger idea for a much bigger place. Uh, that's the ship I was talking about. That. <laughs> A Z-Rax uh, solar base was at the warp spot, and it just absolutely blew apart my ship. Uh, as, as you can see, the actual thrusters and everything, like even the fuel tanks, didn't get hit. It blew out the center of the thing. I don't know why, but it blew out all of this. Like, it devastated everything here. It didn't hit the shield generator. It didn't hit the jump drive. It didn't hit the fuel tanks. It didn't hit the CPU. But it did... It did blow it up pretty good. Like, this thing is a wreck right now. Like, I'd be tempted to give this to... If... If... if Vermillion ever sees this, I would be very tempted to, to give this as a, uh, a POI because this thing just got absolutely wrecked. It's still flyable, but it is definitely in, in a very bad way at the moment. It, it, it took a beating, and I'm surprised that the thing still works. I don't have any fuel in it right now, so I can't prove that, but it does still work. I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult to put, to put fuel in there. I'm just, I'm not going to bother because I'm not using it anymore. That was, that was specifically an answer to a problem I had. In that I needed to be able to go off to other planets and be able to mine everything. And up on top, God, I forgot how big this thing is now. Up on top, we've got the, the little ship that belongs to Artemis Rogue, the Oni. The Oni, I was using that ship to carry around the Oni, and I would use the Oni to go mining with it. And that's what this little uh, HV is based on, is the Oni. It's not really my original design. I just slapped it together so that I would have a, a tool turret available to me, and I can use that planet side to tear apart POIs. It's not a base attacker or anything, so it's not usable that way. But yeah, this guy. 
this little thing right here. So that sparrow down there is designed to carry this. So I can carry this from planet to planet and then use that as my mining vessel. While the the other thing has a lot of other has a lot of other utilities. I'm really big and I, I've noticed this. I really like carriers and I build a lot of carrier based vehicles. So that is effectively a SV carrier is what this is. And as you can see, it's got like an armor locker there. It's got a container there. There's a fridge right there. There's another storage locker over here. There's a food processor here. We got the O2 tank. Uh, there was another storage thing over here. I just realized that got blown up. That's probably one of the few things that did get blown up. That would have been, where is that? Like right here. Right here is where it would have been. It took me to just now to realize that got blown up. Not even realize it. But they, they also blew up the, the healing station that was on the back. Or not the healing station, but the spawning point. So this thing also had a, a spawn point on the back of it. It was really useful. I, I was really enjoying using this thing. Especially considering, I don't know if you noticed that with the Oni. But I changed, I added a constructor to the Oni. So the Oni existed before I built that thing. Way before. Like I said, that... That was uh, me trying to gain access to a tool turret as soon as possible, so I could tear apart POIs. But this is actually one block longer than it should be because I added a constructor back here to it. Uh, this constructor is not usable while this ship is on. So you, you can turn the power on. It's the only thing that can be on, though. Otherwise, the constructor just messes with the CPU usage extremely bad. I just realized that this ship is bigger than my base. Like, we're almost as high as the top of the base. And we're not even on the top of the ship. We get up here. And then we're, like, looking down at the base. <laughs> Holy mackerel. I did not realize how big this thing is. And this guy, this, all of this was like a, a play on what somebody else was doing. Because I really liked this section here. Mine is not the exact same as his. I tried to distinguish it a little bit as far as like this part here. He had this really cool design that he was doing. I was like, I'm jealous. Your block work is so much better than mine. And uh, I, it gave me an idea and I just kind of went for it. Um, this, this section here, I was just trying to, like, make something interesting. So it's got, like, just a little divot here for no reason. I thought I'd turn the thrust to... Ooh. Ew. Uh... Glad I realized this. That would have messed me up later on. So that should be off now. Yeah, that's off. This is off. That looks like it's off. All the thrusters should be off now. 
Yeah, thrust is off. Whoops. I didn't do that right. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's another thing I need to do. So that's working properly now. I need to change these because it, did, it we can't have it be red. It's just going to hurt your eyes. I got a lot more work left to do on this because we got we don't have all the solar panels in there. I got quite a bit more solar panels that need to be put up. We've got a lot of our construction is mostly for the uh, for the hydroponics bay. Wow, we're making a lot of concrete this time around. So we got all this in here. I haven't really decorated all the walls and everything. I wanted to keep this kind of minimal at, as best as I could. Uh, we got we got the floor in here with kind of a marble kind of texture that I went for. The walls and ceilings is kind of it's it's more of a trial and error. I was like trying combinations to see what looks the best. Some of them look good, some of them don't. Like this area is all right. It looks kind of awkward, being that we break it up. This is full, but that is not and then this whole section back here is full well this whole section back here is full because you're right at the base what are you going to look at the base itself like if i walk over here into this section you see that you're just looking straight at the base uh, there is no oxygen in these little tunnels simply because i didn't know how else you would do that uh, i've got a door here and i was thinking about putting a section that is like lower down there I'm not really sure what for. And then we got more. We could expand a little bit that way or that way. What I was thinking about, and it's kind of in the back of my mind, like playing out what is going to work and what is horrible. But up here, I'm thinking we can put a, a section up here that would harbor harbor uh, we could put all the production stuff up there somewhere the other possibility is back here because originally I, I kind of wanted the I kind of wanted the furnace in like a circular section down below like further below like you'd be looking down at it like you would in kind of a silo kind of setup so that it, I was thinking about doing it down there possibly over whoop uh, over here in that section why are you a different color I still don't really know what color everything needs to be because this is all this is all a prefab. This is something that was a uh, base game. At that window seal there, the one I've got in the creative looks a lot better for this section. In fact, I think this whole section right here looks a lot better in the creative version. Like for instance, that block there, I removed it. And we may go through at some point and do some building on this. Because I don't think I did any of the building on stream. I think I was working on it a little bit on stream and then was like, you know what, we're going to end the stream here. I'm going to work on this a little bit more until uh, I've got a base put together. And then we'll you'll see it the next stream, I think is what happened. I don't remember exactly. I know in the, in the creative version of this, I've actually got uh, the the combat class here, the, the big thick stuff. 
because it looks a heck of a lot better. But it created one little problem where I had to extend these blocks forward one. So this really cool symmetry that's going on right here doesn't exist in the creative version. The only way I could actually like have that happen is if I extended both of these. Like uh, this ramp here is extended out one block, and then I extend that ramp out one block, and that's on both sides. Like maybe I could make that look a little bit better. I'm not exactly sure at the moment. I haven't messed with it in a while. Uh, I was messing with it the other day, but that's because I was like prepping the landing pad. I was making the landing pad like much, much bigger. Like the landing pad in the creative version is way bigger than this. Hello? Let me through. Yeah, that looks better. But these things, I like these lights here. These are really cool. I like the addition of those. Uh, this landing pad here in the creative version is way bigger. There's a ship that I have. It's a SV. It's a really big SV, but I extended this landing pad to be big enough to house that uh, that SV that I have. Uh, it's the Argonaut. It's the Wasteland series. It's the Argonaut. What did I just do? I turn off the jetpack. Okay. Oops. No. I haven't gone through and reconfigured it either. Yeah, Wasteland Argonaut. Uh, actually, looking at it, I think the only problem with it is the size. It's like a size 10. This is an SV. It is a small vessel. It is huge. It is a size 10. To give you a comparison... Here's a UNF Crab, the vehicle we were just at a little while ago. It's a size 2. Now, in terms of SV to CV, that's still it's still smaller than the Crab, but the, that tells you how complex the shaping is on that vehicle. It's a size 10. Like, the thing is massive. I think it would actually extend to about out here somewhere. It is a really cool ship too though. It's really cool. Like I wish I could build on that kind of level. But still I feel like I'm just fumbling around compared to like Spange and Artemis and all of them and Jeff Randall. I feel like I'm just I'm I'm not getting it. Like the 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 knowledge of how to build is just not sinking in. Which is saying something, considering I've, I've been a graphic, well, I've never actually been a graphic designer, but I was taking classes for graphic design for many years on and off. And I've just, I feel like my art just had never got anywhere. Yeah, we're just, we're waiting on the deconstructor up there. And the uh, furnace. I can still hear the deconstructor moving. It doesn't look like we're going to get any Zacosium towards towards our second improved CPU. We may just have to keep on searching and mining for a while longer. Oh gosh, we're not even that far through this stuff yet. All right, so I do need to get off very, very soon, very soon. So we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna go to that that mining zone. I just wanna go see it, see what it's all about. And uh, we'll, we'll get off of this for today. We'll continue it again Monday and 
we will be on tomorrow with some Pokemon. But yeah, that's what that's what we're gonna do. So let's go on. I need to go over here and eat real quick. I also need to figure out this heat problem here. Yeah, it's gotta be from the thrusters because I'm not I'm not getting hot right now and the thrusters aren't on. So that's gotta be a problem with the thrusters. I wonder I'll have to look into it in creative. That might be because No, it should be steel. There shouldn't be If that were the case, we'd have the same problem over here, like right in here. We would have the exact same problem right here. Those are steel blocks. And these are carbon. So either it's a problem with the blocks. So that's steel, that's steel. Steel, steel. I'm not exactly sure where that is. I'm not in creative, so I can't glitch through the blocks and look to figure out why that's overheating. But I definitely, I, I definitely need to go take a look at that and see what's going on. Figure that out. We may have to reconfigure the ship a little bit. Uh, I didn't turn on the thrusters. Genius. Why can I not walk up those stairs? That drives me crazy. Oh, I didn't shut the... I need a switch up here that shuts that. Oh, I can't get through there either. We gotta go the long way. I I did the I did that on purpose. Okay. I did this whole pathing thing on purpose because I thought it was interesting. And it was uh, different. I hadn't seen many people put catwalks in their builds. It, normally, they they just have an enclosure, like something you want. Why can you not go up the stairs? Elyon, fix your stairs, please. And I completely lost train of thought there. I have to admit, this ship does look pretty good. I think I did a good job on this one. I did put all the pin tacks and everything in. You know, I'm not going to worry about it. Here, we're going to do a no no. We're going to warp through a storm. According to Star Wars, that's the fastest way to die. Of course, uh, I don't think it matters. I think Star Trek, Star Wars, if you fly into a star, uh, you're probably going to die. Uh, this. The Class 1 mining site. I have no idea what this is, but I'm fascinated. Hopefully we don't make a mistake here.
I have no idea what a class one mining site is. This has got me fascinated. Communication beacon. Now, before we go any further, <laughs> I just want to make sure that we, I think we've explored every single planet. Oh, right. I wanted to go back here. We're going to leave off over here again. Because I wanted to see about selling. Uh, we got to drop off the cargo boxes is what it was. So this is a class one mining site. Are they mining this big chunk of rock here? I have never seen one of these, so I don't know what to expect. And tax a geode. Hmm. Is there something here that I need to be afraid of? So this is a Pentaxa Geo, but so far I haven't seen any Pentaxa come out of it. Is this like, do, are you supposed to grow it or something? Yeah, I didn't think I dug all the way through it yet. I have no idea what this is. Pentaxa geode. And I definitely, I don't see any Pentaxa on it. And all these big rocks around it. Hmm. There's a magnesium asteroid, cobalt asteroid. So are all these white ones like actually Hmm. 
I really don't know what to make of this. I don't feel like there's like anything in this. Well, this is, that's an interesting thing that we're seeing. Like, I can't imagine being out in space and seeing something that big. Communication beacon. Okay. Communication beacon. So this is literally just nothing. There's not even an entry point in it. There is stuff inside of it though. I, all I can make out is that there's a couple of generators inside of this. I have no idea what size generators. I don't see a way into it either. Okay. <laughs> I don't really care. I did try to mine that, but I wasn't getting anything except for stone and graphite. Alright. There's nothing here. Okay. So, we're going to go over here where we will drop off our cargo pieces. At a later date, I will probably do that. I will probably do that like offline, like when I get a chance. I'll, I'll offload the cargo stuff, and then we will be back with this at a later date. For now, we are just going to go over here. We're going to park beside this uh, space station. I'll offload the cargo, and then we'll be done. I'm not going to do that right this second. We're just going to go over here and park. But that'll be it for this week in Empyrean. Don't forget, tomorrow we are going to be in Pokemon. Uh, hopefully hatching some more eggs. We didn't get that far last time hatching eggs. We, we only hatched a few. But we are we do have family things that may come up and may not. Just depends. Not really sure what's gonna happen there, but we may have to deal with that tomorrow. Uh Wednesdays we try to do Minecraft on Wednesdays. I don't know if we'll be able to do it again this week. That may be another day that we we can't do. Uh Thursdays we are still doing alien isolation until I finish the game. And we, we're not that far. <laughs> we, we're really not that far. 
I'm not even sure how far we are into that, but we're not. We're 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 pretty early in the game still. And then on Fridays we do seven days to die. So yeah, stick with me, and uh, we'll do that stuff. And I'm gonna get up to this, and I'm gonna go ahead and park. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream before I do that. So you guys have a great day. I'll see you later, and uh, God bless. Take care.